to um, support this bill, and um, in saying so, I'm delighted um, to acknowledge um, my colleagues in the Primary Production Select Committee, a committee which is chaired by Yashan Arden, and um, yeah, I must say that he does a good job. And, um, he should be the minister. He should be the minister. Yeah, Indeed. Well, yeah, um, well, what exactly you, you took a word from my mouth. Actually, he should have been the minister because he um, he's uh, such a... Uh, he does a good job, and um, thank you, um, Mr. Arden, for that. Now, um, we're talking about this bill. <clears throat> uh, let me say a word about the dairy industry. Now, this, the white gold that we have in New Zealand uh, is well known around the world, where we do um, export, as has uh, been said before, 80% of our milk um, by Fantera exported and uh, we earn about 25% of our export from dairy uh, products and, and milk, which is um, very well known around the world. And, uh, Mr. Speaker, can I just say um, that uh, the, the main purpose of this bill is to replace the current regulated pricing formula that we use um, with um, uh, you know, the new formula, which will include 10 cents per kilogram uh, milk fat, and will, this bill will also allow to um, uh, future auction system to be put in place. Uh, to, uh, the what? The auction system for <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you there. Now, um, of course, we are talking about um, about 600 million litres of milk, or 5 percent of the uh, total of milk, uh, for uh, auction. And um, the key thing is really this um, uh, new regulations will allow um, uh, fair and efficient pricing for regulated raw milk and also ensure that the excess demand for regulated raw milk is managed efficiently and also uh, remove any uncertain conditions that are in the, in the market uh, for the, for the uh, players, or the people who are uh, supply, particularly those who are processing the milk. So it's important that um, the regulations are upgraded uh, for the future of our dairy industry. Uh, but I must say, uh, Mr. Speaker, that um, you know, although um, we had 11 submissions on this bill and we heard nine of them, of course, uh, many of them supported this bill, but there were some um, uh, small uh, players, if you like, um, in the uh, processing area who didn't quite uh, agree and uh, they were not quite happy with the, uh, particularly um, uh, some of them, uh, like the Green Valley Dairies. Uh, they thought that um, the proposed uh, auction system will create an ambiguity in the um, milk market. Uh, so they were not quite sure about um, the, you know, what's going to happen, and particularly in relation to the concern they had was uh, the impact of the auction system on the price paid for the milk, and also a uh, possible increase in the risk for the independent uh, processors, and uh, also possibility of increase uh, for local market operators. So, um, uh, clearly, um, you know, the Green Valley uh, people were a bit... Um, uh, concerned about uh, the likely impact of the um, auction system. Similarly, the Cadbury um, people, they had some concern. Um, they thought the, the auction system may not be equitable for, for all the players, and they would uh, appreciate it. They thought they wanted to have an opportunity to have an input into the consultation process. Because um, remember that this bill is supposed to become act by tomorrow, actually by 1st of April, um, so there has to be a process of next, uh, <laughs> well, 1st of April, yeah, of course, yeah, the other day it is a couple of days ago, but 1st of April this bill is supposed to become an act, and um, so it shows in a way the lazy government, actually, that, you know, they have left it to the last, very last moment to bring this bill over into uh, an urgency uh, to, to pass this bill. I mean, in one day's time, uh, or midnight tonight, uh, if, uh, if you like. So, um, 
Mr. Speaker, I've got to say that um, um, this bill is um, a useful bill for the uh, industry to ensure that uh, we have a fair and equitable system uh, for particularly the auction of the, um, the 600 million uh, litre of the milk um, and, um, and also particularly including um, the, the Fantera people, the Fed farmers, um, they all supported this bill and um, uh, we are delighted on this side to um, support this bill um, and I think going forward uh, given that our industry, um, the dairy industry, uh, as I said earlier, is uh, well known around the world and we are the largest exporter of uh, milk and milk product. And uh, at the same time, I think the, as we were talking about um, the perception of dairy and the other day uh, when we had the animal welfare bill, um, we've got to make sure that our dairy industry is, um, as is perceived now around the world, um, and uh, we've got to make sure that uh, all the, the sort of potential uh, news about the treatment of animals, uh, as we were um, talking the other day, the cruelty to animals, and those kind of issues are dealt with in time and properly. So this industry that um, we have, which is um, uh, you know, the major source of income for New Zealanders, uh, and uh, given that we 25% of our income comes from the export uh, from the dairy industry, so we've got to make sure that um, the, the markets, the um, importers overseas, that they, um, uh, they uh, get what they uh, perceive that the industry here is uh, clean and green and all the potential dirty dairying issues and animal welfare issues that they are dealt with uh, before any bad news get out to, to the market. And uh, particularly in relation to the, uh, I must say, the food safety issues, uh, it is important that our, uh, the food safety that we have, the regulation that we have in place in New Zealand around our manufacture of foods, uh, particularly the dairy industry and the, and, uh, the meat industry, that um, the importers, the importing countries, that they, uh, you know, they are sure about the quality of the product they're getting and uh, the safety of the product that we have. I mean, of course, you know, we have heard about some of the um, issues, uh, about uh, melamine issues um, uh, in China and similar uh, problems that uh, one hear about. I think they are no good news for New Zealand. And we need to make sure that um, the, um, the milk product that we export to the, the market that they are well regarded and continue to be well regarded for the future of uh, this country in my view as an agriculturist uh, scientist uh, that um, I can see, I can foresee the markets uh, really um, uh, 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 gaining a big momentum particularly in Asia, in China and uh, the uh, free trade agreement we're going to have with uh, Hong Kong soon uh, is in the process right, uh, right now and the other countries. I think this industry, particularly the dairy industry, in my view, is, um, is the one that we've got to protect and we've got to enhance, and particularly in relation to research and development. Uh, unfortunately, um, uh, this government, uh, when they came in, they scrapped that uh, fast-forward fund that we had for research and development, which now, uh, I've got to be honest with that. I think this government has um, taken a very short view of research and development and that funds we had put in there, $700 million, uh, was the money which was allocated for our research and development, and particularly in, in the pastoral farming. And I think we need to invest a lot more money into the pastoral farming so our future is dependent upon the, um, the, the white gold that I mentioned. And I think, um, and I think the, um, the farmers um, from the other side and uh, people like uh, Shane Arden, they understand. Uh, unfortunately, we had a, another uh, MP uh, who um, has been a bit of disappointment, I must say, uh, Phil Heatley, who was one of our students at Massey University, but they, they had a disappointment. So, uh, Mr. Speaker, um, with those uh, few words, uh, I'd like to commend this bill to the House.